everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more of Bravely Default. In the last episode, we explored the Temple of Wind, and um, apparently we have to have a certain garb recreated because it was destroyed by the darkness. And in order for Agnes to um, save the crystal, she needs this sacred thread of cloth thing to do so. So... We have to go to a forest so that we can have someone make another one so that she can save the wind crystal or something like that. That is the that is the general gist of that. So if you guys would like to support me in the series, be sure to leave a like and a comment in the section below. I would really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these venomous snakes. They're not very... Oh, I'm poisoned. They're not very strong. The only thing they do that annoys me is poison, which is just a pain, because now I have to use magic to get rid of the poison, which is stupid. But there we go, there is that. Let's go ahead and get on our airship, because we have to get on our airship. Okay, how do I fly? Is it, nope, that was the wrong button. Is it Y? Nope, not Y. Um, I gotta get up. Get up. Yeah, there we go. I'll fly away. Fly over the mountain today. Okay, there is a lake that we can land in, and I think it's right here. Here we go. Land. Land. Thank you. There we go. Alright, and apparently we have to go in here, so let's go in this little hut. Yoliana Woods Needleworks. Pretty yes, interesting. This, this feels familiar. It's been ages, but this is it. We were here. The Mother Vestal, I, and Olivia. Was that strange, distant groaning here then, too? Or am I the only one who's thoroughly unsettled right now? You're not alone. The lack of women here is positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? I am Anya Soblish, sir. Vestal of Wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and... <laughs> Pleasantly jiggly. What? <laughs> He's an old pervert. Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring -a bell Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is what the last Vestal called me. At her heels, you. Sage, Sage, you'd call. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. This guy is weird. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair, but firm. Very firm. She had taut curves fit to drive a man mad. Why? Why is that all he can talk about? We shall be needing an in-depth account, good sage. 
Also, a briefing on any wild women of the woods. Stop talking. Just stop. You've quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... they are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. Okay, so he wants us to go inside. We're gonna I go inside. See. Well, that's quite the story. You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tiz a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad. As is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! What have you found now, Ring a Bell? Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. They sure are a matched pair. Oh, <laughs> all right. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? I have. The garb housed in the temple was lost to the darkness. We found it in scrap, sir. Hmm. Those garbs are woven from rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. The Vestal to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. The last Vestal of Wynne did so, as did her predecessor and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Honestly, I would be afraid to stay the night with this old man. I'd be afraid he'd rape me in the middle of the night. Oh, yes. If you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in- No. <gasps> Unacceptable. Likewise. Then let the two of us pass the night in ardent conversation. Okay! A little weird, but okay. Interesting, say the least. Good morning! Slept well, I trust? Idea, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home-cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. 
Given her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Food can wait, Sage. Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. This old man is so weird. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Huh. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. You'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. Okay, so... Oh, there's a shop here. And a safe point. I wonder if there's any items that we can get. Can we go in here? Can I go in there? Can I Can I go in here? Is there anything in here I can take? No? No text. Is there anything over here? What about this broom? Is this broom hiding anything? Sleep? Don't sleep. We already slept. Inspect? No. Broom? Closed? No. There is a shop, though. I would like to shop. Shopping's fun. It's a fox! What? Magic shop. Here we go. Bye. Let's get let's get Blizzard. Yeah, let's get the Blizzard spell. Okay, I don't want to Yeah, okay. Um armory. Oh my goodness. 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 Okay. Um Let's see. We need a a bow. Mithril knuckles. Ooh, knuckles. Tiz, that would that would that would be very good for Tiz. Who would use the bow? A fine mithril bow, deadly against flyers. Who would use the bow? I don't understand. I know Tiz can use the knuckles, obviously. So I'm. I want to get the knuckles for Tiz. Yes, get those for Tiz. Um, here's a mithril staff, a mithril rod. Um, I don't need either of those really. Um, an axe. Oh, I'm not sure. Mithril dagger. I have a dagger, but Adia doesn't like that. A spear. Here's a bow. Oh my gosh, I'm almost tempted to give her a bow. Look at that. Physical attack, 73. The only thing that isn't as good as her magic defense and physical defense. I'm getting this bow. I don't know if she's supposed to use it or not, but she's getting a bow. Um, a mithril helm. What's this? Ooh. 38. 23, 35. Decisions, decisions. Oh my goodness, decisions. A tiger mask that embolds the wearer. Raises magic attack. Okay, I need two of these. And I need two of those as well. Yep, need two of those. Um, well, I can't afford this stuff. Man! Ah! Okay, alright, let's equip. I'm gonna give Edea a bow. Probably not a good idea, but it's two-handed. Oh boy. I don't know how she's gonna like that. Equipping a two-handed weapon. Huh. Maybe I should leave her with her sword. Yeah. Probably should leave her with that sword. Here's a mithril helm. I guess I should give her her helmet, though. Um. Iron badge. Or iron bangle. Let's see, nullifies poison, suppresses wind. Okay, she is done. Let's see, he, I got him some pretty awesome knuckles. And I got you a mithril helmet. Um, raises HP. Give you gauntlets. Okay. And then, what is this optimum? Select all random equipment from your inventory. That would be kind of dumb. That would be kind of stupid. Um, 
Okay, I think I got her, yeah, cat ear hood, and I got her, uh, I think that was it. White cape. Nullifies blind, nullifies poison. A charm that suppresses wind. Okay, I think she's good. And then ring a bell. I didn't buy him anything except for that. And I want to give him the one that nullifies silence. There we go. Alright, maybe I should sell the stuff that I'm not using. Like, yeah, like those. I'm not using. I'm not using that. I'm not using that. I want to keep the bow. I'm not using the iron knuckles. I'm not using these. I'm not using two of these. I'm not using those. I have something better. I'm not using. Yeah, I'm not using those either. I'm not using the leather. I'm not using that. Um, the gauntlets and stuff I'll keep just in case. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, traitor. What's my traitor? Oh, oh, this is the traitor. Okay, I don't need any of that stuff. Um, the only thing is, I don't know what job class uses the bow. Is it the knight, manipulates, no, thief, high, huh. Change jobs, can I see, like, um... Too equipped, maybe. Ah, the thief uses bows. A fine mithril bow, deadly against flyers. Okay, so no, I want her to go back to being, um... Let's, let's put her back as the freelancer for now. Yeah, maybe, hang on. Well, let's protect ally and stomp, master thief and steal. Yeah, let's put her back as the freelancer. Okay, and then I think I might test Tiz out as a thief, maybe. I, I might test him out as a thief just to see, um, just to see how well he performs as a thief. We got a mithril helm, we got a bronze chest plate, we got gauntlets. Yeah, we'll try him out as a thief first. Um, and if that doesn't work out too well, we will put him back. Alright, so, oh, there's a party chat. Let's do this. Uh, such sweet sorrow. How about a nip of breakfast for an old man? Ha! He cooks just fine. Quite. It was nothing especially fancy or out of the ordinary, but it went down fine. I thought it was really good, actually. Likewise, I wonder why he uh, would have wanted you to cook for him, Edia. All alone out here in the middle of the woods, maybe he missed the taste of the big city. Oh, when you put it like that, I feel bad for saying no. What sort of food do you like to cook, Idea? Hmm, I haven't cooked enough to have a specialty or anything, but if I had to pick something, I'd make a mean jam and butter omelette. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Um... Or have you ever tried marshmallow and condensed milk risotto? Er, no, but it sounds sweet. Painfully so. Yep, mother and father were left speechless by its amazing deliciousness. I'd be happy to whip some up for you next time. Right, next time. I, I don't think so. I don't think they'd like that. How goes? Alright, so let's go ahead and save our game. It looks like we're all ready. Do, 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 do. All right, and oh, looks like we have an update in the village. Yay, armor available. Okay, that's cool. Go ahead and close that. Received a gift from the trader. Thank you for the gift. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade these special moves again. Put all of our boys in there. Okay. That's going to take 22 minutes to update. So let's go ahead and get out of this place, I guess. And see where this cave is at that we're supposed to go to. It looks like... Looks like it's over this way. Is this the cave? No, this can't be the cave. It doesn't look like the cave. Well, it has to be the cave. I didn't see anything else. Oh, it's a stupid tiger thing. Hang on, I want to run. 
Run. Run. Run. Just run. Come on, guys. Run. Don't wanna... Don't wanna fight. I wanna fight... I wanna find this cave first. Um... I don't know. It's saying it's like over here, but that doesn't make any sense. I bet it's this cave. I do. I bet it's this cave. Let's go inside and see what it's called. This place holds nothing for us. Let's return. Oh, okay. So it's not that cave. Okay. Well. Darn it. I guess um. I can get on my ship and go over here, maybe? Where is it? Where is it at? Where is this cave at, huh? Oh, it's right here. I see. How do I get... I have to go all the way around. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to go all the way around to get to this cave. That figures. Alright, so I guess let's just go ahead and go. Not much of a choice. Might as well get to going. I guess it's not that far of a walk when I think about it, but it's pretty far. I mean, it's a pretty far walk. I don't really appreciate walking this. Are those bats? What? Are you kidding me? They're bats? It's a blood bat. What in the world? It's a blood bat? Okay, uh, default and brave, I guess. Let's use some... Let's use some blizzard. Yeah, blizzard! Go! Oh my goodness! That attack! Holy crap! That's right, the bow is super effective against flying enemies. So that's... Aha! Okay, so I think that thief class is gonna become one of my new favorites, that's for sure. Alright, so let's keep it going. We're almost to the cave. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. If you guys would like to support me, if you guys would like to see more of Bravely Default, be sure to leave a like and a comment in the section below. Both of those things really do help me and I really do appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to be heading into this cave and searching for the rainbow thread. So, until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more of Bravely Default in the future. Bye, guys.